Rand, finally. I came as soon as I could. What's the emergency? I can't sleep. So I see we're using the word emergency pretty lightly. No, I've had insomnia for days. I just sit up all night watching infomercials. Well, it may not be serious. Not serious? I bought a slancho. It's the Mexican slanket. It. it may be serious. Now, uh, look. I need you to tell me which one of these things I have, all right? Heart disease, hypertension, hyperthyroidism. Slancho madness. Is that a thing? Because it is kind of itchy. Uh, and I, I've, I've ruled out menopause for obvious reasons. No hot flashes. Also, you're not a woman. Man, I need sleep. OK, uh, insomnia is usually caused by stress. Yeah. Has anything been stressing you out lately? Uh, aside from the fact that I'm stuck in this podunk pioneer village alone with no friends. What about Amar? Amar doesn't want to be my friend. No, he just wants to change me. You know, the only one who loves me for who I am is my sloncho. That's a poncho. No, 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 it's like a poncho, but with no sleeves. So it's a poncho. Man, that was a good ad. I am going to give you something. That should do the trick. Sleeping pills? Finally. Follow these instructions, and you should be sleeping in no time. Wait, this just says relax. Doctor's orders. Can I take this with whiskey? I need your help reading this poll. A poll in Mercy? Who'd they sample? Everybody but Joe. He had a head injury. I don't understand the squiggles. And now it's upside down. Anne, I don't work for you anymore, remember? What do I care? Oh, my God. Your numbers are way down, especially with the Muslims. Damn you, Muslims. How do I reach out to you people? Probably by not saying, damn you, Muslims. See, this is the kind of advice I need. You've got to help me. Oh, of course. What are friends for? All right, we can talk while I move these old paint cans out of the office. Come on. Well, actually, I was thinking of leaving it with you and catching up on my soaps. Nice try, Anne. Employees do your work for you. Friends give advice. Fair enough. Ten bucks ought to cover it. Can I owe you? <sighs> oh, come on. Hey. You're golfing. <laughs> I love golf. Mar, now's not the time. I'm trying to sleep. I'm no sleep expert, but doesn't that require you to actually lay down? <sighs> you can't win. I won't let you destroy me. Should I come back later? I can't sleep because I'm stressed and I can't relax because this putter is a jerk. It's not your putter. It's actually your, um, stance. My stance? Oh. What do you know about stance? Hmm? I'm a lawyer, so I've spent my fair share of time on the links. Right. Well, I'm sure it pales in comparison to my old parish's mini golf spectacuthon. Mini golf. Yeah, anyone can hit a ball a mile, but it takes a genuine artiste to putt a ball through an alligator's nostril. Oh, damn you, Club of Judas! Okay. Ah! Well, you enjoy your sleep. I'm going to go and rest somewhere more restful. Okay. What's up, Buttercup? Thorn is acting stranger than usual. Did you just call me Buttercup? I did. Our first pet name. Do you like it? No. I'll work on that. Thorn is supposed to be relaxing. Well, then I've never seen anyone relax and clench at the same time. As his doctor, I am a little worried about him. He could use someone to hang out with. So what? Living with him isn't enough now? Well, sometimes doing the right thing takes a little bit more. You're right. That's good advice. Is it this annoying when I do it to other people? Absolutely. How long have you been listening to us? Not long, but a cup. <laughs> See, it's catching on. No, it's it good. isn't. We're going to kill it. You know, you should visit the mosque more often. Show the community you care about them as people, not just voters. Good idea. Here come. Would you please help me with this paint? I'm donating it to the daycare. Oh, that's really sweet. I usually just pour it down the sink when I'm done. 
Ooh, text message. Here, hold this. Oh, crap. No time to talk. Gotta go. BRB, winky face. What are you doing? Oh, it's just a semicolon with parentheses. No, the carpet. Oh, we gotta get this up before it sets. Here, take this. Got it. Wait. You're smearing. How can I daub under all this pressure? Well, now you're going against the grain. The grain. Got it. Well, now you're smearing again. Ugh. Fine. Here, you clean up your own mess. We need paint thinner. We got to get to the hardware store fast. Perfect. I can get my nails done while you're picking up the supplies. Or not. Oh. Well, too bad if Putt Butt Green's had a birthday booked. Hey, don't blame Jonathan. You only turned 12 once. Besides, Frisbee golf is an excellent alternative. So, what do you think? That uh, lamppost is a first hole? Yeah, sounds good. Excellent. After you. Yeah, nice try, but I'm going first. That's what I just said. Yeah. Get ready to cry yourself to sleep tonight. Well, at least I can sleep. Ooh, trash talk. Nice. <laughs> See, we're bonding. Uh... <laughs> All right. Who threw it? As a man of God, I cannot in good conscience lie to you. So who threw it? I'm not going to lie to you, Fred. I'm sorry, Fred. All right. Turn around. I got a free shot. Honestly. The New Testament tells us to turn the other cheek. Crap. I afraid you'd say that. All right, Amar, I forgive it, you. Thanks for having my back there. Anyways, all right, let's try this again. Oh! My other cheek! It's probably set by now. You think so? I told her three coats. Watch your manicure, the paint. Relax, Sarah, it'll be fine. How are you going to help me if you're worried about wrecking your nails? Oh, that's easy. I'm not. This is going to cause so much to clean. I know what it's going to You step right back. You cannot come in here and stomp all over my crime scene. Crime scene? There's been a crime? Got some no-good vandal is attacked the mosque. <gasps> oh, I see what happened. They defiled our sacred rug. Sacred? We got those rugs at Carpe Diem. I think this is a hate crime. There is no excuse for this. Unless there's a perfectly good excuse. No, there is none. I don't care what they say. The person who did this is a monster. No, no, it's not what you think. Unless it is. Excuse us. I can't cop to this. Being tied to a hate crime is political suicide. It's not a hate crime. Not without evidence. Come on. They painted a giant plus sign in the mosque. I think it's a cross. That is even worse. It is a hate crime. We need a fingerprinting set for the crime scene. The crime scene. You're talking about smeared paint. I have a friend who is a cousin of a man who was married to a woman who was once questioned by Cesus. Can you even hear yourself? I think so. I just said a thing about Cesus, right? Okay, look, Barbara, we are all concerned, but odds are that it's not a hate crime. It is un-Islama to take odds, but if it was not, I would give you 10 to 1 that there is a hate criminal out there who hates us. I am not panicking. Well, if you don't, then I will. Someone must protect this sacred place. What's with him? He's panicking. Well, stick with what you're good at. So, how was your prescription play date with Thorne? Not bad. He's relaxing like you wanted, and he opened up as well. It was actually kind of fun. Fun is just what the doctor ordered. I hope it works. Well, he's at his place right now, sleeping. Excellent. Dr. Hamoudi strikes again. You know, I said that after his nap, if he wanted to, he could uh, join us for dinner. On our big night out? Well, uh, you... We're so keen on Thorne and I hanging out, plus we do need a chaperone and... Right, that makes sense. Great, so we'll drop by around 8 o'clock and pick you up. It will be a truly romantic evening. This is your plan? More criminal activity? We're just gonna steal the rug out of sight, out of mind. Everyone will forget about it and move on. I thought you said to wear black. Pink is the new black. Oh, you're gonna get spotted for sure. We should just leave. No, no way. We're so close. Suck it up, princess. Start rolling. Okay, let's move out, okay? Oh. 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 
Someone's coming! Let's hide in the church. Okay. Oh, I just broke a nail. Oh, forget about your nails. It's heavy. Shh. Come to me. Look. Quiet. Oh, shh. I'm not certain someone is here. <gasps> the rug. It's missing. It's gone. It's gone. They went that way. How do you know? My keen detective skills. Huh? Plus, the door is open. Brilliant. Close the door. We can find something. Here, up here. We can find something. Of course we can. Oh, what are you doing? Emperors have no sense of decency. Well, what are you waiting for? Go get them. Hmm. I thought I told you to wear your running sandals. Idiot. Yeah. Oh, really? Because yeah. the Godfather is my favorite, too. Ah, oh, the best. Mm. Man, that is a steak. What did I tell you? The best in the West. Yeah. Mm, really? Because my salmon's a little dry. Oh, that's too bad. Look, have you tried this horseradish? No, is it, is it hot? But irresistible. I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. Ha 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 good one. Uh, uh, Luca Brasi sleeps with the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, do you have a favorite line? Um, you had me at hello. No, no, I uh, have a favorite line from The Godfather. Oh, I've never seen it. Leave the gun, take the cannoli. Oh! oh nobody's having cannoli. We should make an anonymous donation to the mosque. I'm way ahead of you. Yeah. I thought about it. I decided against it. Hey, Crime Watch, day two. One of Mercy Anglican's valuable vases has been viciously vandalized. The criminals are probably laughing at us now as they eat their morning toast. Well, at least they don't have any leads. This just in, a lead. Some Muslims were seen fleeing the scene late last night. <laughs> I am a dog with a bone. It's over. If this keeps up, some innocent person's gonna be blamed. Fingers crossed. And you know what you have to do. I have to talk to the people. Right. Arrange a press conference. Hey, I don't work for you anymore. You can't talk to me like that. Arrange a press conference, friend. Well, that's better. 11 a.m., okay? Great. And pick up my dry cleaning, buddy. <sighs> You people are begging for a second I am not listening. Chris Chris Anglican. Anglican. I am not and listening. I am not listening. Okay, okay. Guys, 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 we need you two to stop riling up the communities about these crimes. I'll stop. When the mosque replaces the church's precious bras, why should we be held responsible? We are the ones who chase the hate criminals away. Yeah. Surely we can all work together to figure this out. Yes, Muslims and Anglicans side by side. That is like mixing oil and... What does not mix with oil? Muslims. Exactly. Oh, wait, just look at Amar and I, all right? We're as close as two nickels in a pocket. How big is this pocket? It's a little one. That's pretty close. How big are these nickels? Okay, we're done here. Look, guys, the point is, can we please just stop this before it gets any worse than it already is? No can do. Amar. Yeah, no can do, too. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it sound like we haven't heard the last of these two? Because they're still talking. Okay, look, we have to get our congregations together and work this out. How about five o'clock? Perfect. Gives us time for our Godfather marathon. Perfect. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Salaam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. What's up? Well, my last patient of the day canceled, and I thought I'd come by and see if you wanted to go to Fatima's and grab a bite. Mm, I already made plans. With me. You should join us. Uh, she wouldn't like it. I wouldn't like what? Movie marathon. I love it! Oh, I've been dying to see that romantic comedy about the songwriter in the coma. Sing quietly. Uh, the thing is, we Yeah, were... it's a Godfather marathon. I just brought them on Blu-ray. You have not seen A Pagoda until you've seen them in high def. It's sobering. Sounds great. Really? No. Who am I kidding? You guys go, do your thing. Great. Um, we'll talk later. We'll talk later. Just you and me. You got a lot here. Well, Amar and Thorne are spending a lot of time together, so hello, books. Well, it's bad for you and good for a clinical investigation of weeping wounds and cats. Ew. Yeah, I did it to myself. You cut yourself? Was it to get attention? Did it work? No. I put Amar and Thorne together, and now they're all buddy buddy. And what did Amar say when you told him he was spending too much time with Thorne? <sighs> he said that. Thanks, Rose. Good luck. I believe I reserved your copy of Weeping Wounds and Cuts. 
Oh, dear. Ren! Hi. Hi. You're here to join us? Because there's only part three left, and spoiler alert, it's terrible. Oh, no. I just wanted to talk to Amar. Oh, yeah, sure. What do you want to tell us? I kind of wanted to talk to him alone. Oh, right. Yes, of course, a little privacy. I'll just chaperone from over here. What's the matter? It's just, you're always with Thorn. Isn't that what you wanted? Well, I'm only hanging out with him because you asked me to. Really? Yeah, I do anything you ask me to. Oh, well, what if I asked you to get out of here? Well, I'd, uh, I'd say let's go. <laughs> uh, change of plans, Thorn. We're gonna have to cut this marathon short, but I'll see you at five, okay? You got it, pal. Only because she asked you to, hmm? All right, Amar, if that's how you want to play it. God, just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. <laughs> Every suspect in town has an alibi. How can everyone in town be innocent? It's a real thinker. Wait a minute. What if it's someone who doesn't live in town? Oh, like some sort of uh, out-of-towner. You're good, Fred. <laughs> but who? What kind of shifty person would just be drifting through town? A drifter. A shifty drifter. I said, <laughs> yeah. of course. Why didn't I think of that? And this is getting out of hand. Well, yes, it is getting out of hand, Sarah. When my town is overrun by shifty drifters, sadly, he's probably moved on by now. She will never know what really happened. Well, I'm mollified. Me too. Afraid <laughs> it's not quite that simple. No, this was the work of a local. Come with me and I'll prove it. I'm outraged again. Me as well. Come on. Come on. Come on. Find out what you can get. Just peachy. This shouldn't take long. Thorne and I should be able to convince everyone to let this whole hate crime thing go. Rushing through the stores, the craven criminals stole off into the night. Or well, maybe not. <sighs> oh, no. Straight to Mecca. <laughs> That's all the evidence I need. Oh, yes, clearly we vandalize our own rugs just to throw you up the scent of our future buzz crimes. Oh, so you admit it. Or that you're an idiot. Uh, what's going on here? Well, I'll tell you what's going on here. The good people of this town have been hurt. Hurt by the person they trusted most. Uh, uh, people. Uh, people. You Muslims wormed your way into our hearts only to lash out at me. Us. Uh, right, us. And we won't forget what you've done to us. Uh, me. What? Well, no. You don't think this is a hate crime? We talked about this. Oh, we talked about a lot of things, Amar. A lot of things. Reverend, if this is about earlier... No, oh, people, this is not about vandalism. This is about betrayal. Yeah. And I submit, yeah. I submit, yeah. Amar yeah. painted the cross on the rug. Amar broke the vase, and Amar only pretended yeah. to be my friend. Amar? How could you do this? The sleeper cell has awoken. I did it. I did it. It was an accident, and then to cover it up, I, I, I stole the rug and broke the vase. It, it was all me. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, that took a lot of strength, Sarah. I'm proud of you. Wait, 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 wait. This makes no sense. She's covering for someone. No, I'm not. Oh, now she's lying very badly about it. No, I'm not. Everybody knows you don't have an evil bone in your body. Look, we have a confession, Fred. Leave her alone. I'm proud of you too, Sarah. Proud and disappointed. Mom, you're covering for Anne again, aren't you? Back off, medicine woman. Don't you have a poultice to mix? The mare, of course. She has many evil bones in her body. <laughs> Fine. All right, this may shock you. But here is the terrible truth. Oh, we all know you did it. Then why dwell? Yes, feelings were hurt, lies were told, but I think you're forgetting something very important. We just landed the bacon festival! <laughs> Excuse me, most of us here are Muslims. I just cannot crack that demographic. Now, do you finally feel better after telling the truth? Yeah, I guess so. Thanks, oh. Sarah. This is so exciting, though. How did you land the bacon festival? I didn't, but that's future Anne's problem. To bet it's over. My ratings were through the roof. <laughs> I was also enjoying all the blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm starting to miss this, uh, this hate crime already. Me too. Yeah. Sorry. Thorn! Yo, Thorn! The hell was that about? Oh, well, uh, the mayor manipulated Sarah into taking the blame for something that the mayor did. 
Um, no, I'm actually talking about the other thing. Where you falsely accused me of committing a hate crime? Oh, that. I thought we were getting along. Yeah, me too, until I discovered that you were only spending time with me because Rayanne made you. Oh, that. <laughs> we didn't mean it that way. Really? You wanted to spend time with me? Well, not at first. Aha! Look, yes, at first Rayanne made me, but then I started having fun. Really? You were having fun? Absolutely. Why did you walk out in the middle of our movie marathon? <laughs> Just that we're engaged, so... Oh, yes. No, I, I, I get it. You're, you're a new couple. You want to spend time together, not with your dashing and whimsical roommate. It, it, it's fine. Really? No, but I'll deal with it. Well, I do have some work to catch up on tonight. Uh, so I guess I have some time on my hands. Do you have two hours and 50 minutes? He sure does. Yeah. Knock yourselves out, guys. <laughs> hmm. You know, I'm, uh, I'm kind of worried about her. She really needs some friends. Back again. Oh, yeah, Amar and Thorne are watching a movie, so I'm on my own. Oh, it just gives you more time to hang out with all your girlfriends. Yeah, all my girlfriends. You don't have any girlfriends, do you? No. Oh, that is so sad. So lonely. All those empty evenings with those self-help books that never seem to help. You don't have any girlfriends either, do you? I do not. <sighs> we'll see ya. Yeah, see ya. Hey, do you want to grab a coffee? I'd love to. Just one sec. Okay, library's closed. Everybody shoot. 